Ridla says, I want to ask a question regarding washing impure clothes in automatic washing machines. Is it sufficient to wash them in a machine with pure clothes and they would become pure? As I've heard that the water when comes in contact with impure clothes, it also becomes impure and in the end clothes remain impure after washing. And if stains of impurity remain on clothes after washing, such as stain of medhi or many and menstrual blood, are the clothes considered impure? First of all, Rida, we have to understand that purity is defined into two types of branches. And that is removing of the filth and uplifting the ritual impurity. And in Arabic, it rhymes. So they say, At-taharatu raf'u al-hadathi wa izalatu al-khabath. And I will not go into details, but if there were to have stains on this head cover that I'm wearing, and the stain is here, and I put it aside and it rains and I come after it dries and the stain is gone. The impurity is gone. Of course, the stain is a result of an impurity. I did not intend it to be clean. It was just cleaned by the rain by itself. Is this sufficient? The answer is yes, because removing the filth, the impurity does not require an intention. Anything that removes the physical impurity is sufficient. And to the extent that scholars say that removing an impurity does not even require water. If it was removed by another liquid, another thing, this is sufficient. Unlike wudu, you cannot perform wudu except with water. But removing the filth, the najasa, the impurity can be done with any substance. Now, as you have stated, Rida, scholars said that the amount of water to remove an impurity must be overwhelming. This is what the scholars say. However, overwhelming does not mean 10, 15, 20 liters of water. The nomad who came and urinated in the masjid the Prophet told the companions to bring a bucket of water and pour it over it. He did not order them to dig it out and take whatever is there or wet and put it outside of the masjid. No, just pouring water over it would suffice because the water would mix with urine, dissolve it, and it's gone. Now, scholars also say that if you put impure if you put nedges clothes in a washing machine with other dirty clothes that are pure in themselves, but they're dirty, they stink, they're, uh, they have stains of oil or whatever, and you wash it in a washing machine, this is sufficient. Why? Because it's soaked in water. And it is washed thoroughly. The water is rinsed. It's spinned, then again, clean water is put in. The same process is done. It's spinned, then rinsed. This by itself is sufficient to clean your impure clothes. Now we come back to the issue of stains. Now, stains of menstrual blood is normal. Because even if you wash them thoroughly, so many times the stain, the color would remain but the impurity itself is gone. So the scholars say that the stains that remain after washing it has no impact. They have no impact on the purity. The garment is pure. Though there is stain marks, but it was washed and this is sufficient for it to be clean, to be used. So don't have the whispers of shaitan uh, uh, messing up with your with your head this is inshallah all uh, uh, legit and it is clean